Already it's 2.20 a.m. It's February 19th, Sunday, and it's time for Comments X. Uh, yesterday I uh, ended Comments X talking about, uh, sort of the last half, talking about uh, the uh, my new project, uh, P4A365. Um, and I want to continue on on that subject because it is rather important here and there needs to be a distinction here. I had, when I first began uh, doing this, my web show at Big Bang Theory RL, uh, I started on December 30th, uh, 2011. December 31st, actually. And you look. The first thing you do is you look around YouTube to see how who else is doing what you're doing, and how they're doing it. And it was basically a couple, about a week after, week to two weeks after uh, uh, John Green's uh, P4A project for awesome. And I had found about as I was looking at the P4A, I found the group Nerd Fighters and found out what a Nerd Fighter was, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, and I found as I was working through my channel and working on my channel in, in, through the weeks, I found that um, I found a video on, on Project Ross and I said, Well, that looked uh, and looked at it to see what it was actually doing was I received some of the uh, notifications for Project Frost in terms of watching the videos. So I looked at it, looked at that it was basically they were supporting charities and you know basically it had a little uh, it was something to say about it and then they directed you to a charity that you could donate money to. And as I sort of floated around trying to find out who John Green was and what he was all about in terms of, you know, I found he was the Vlogging Brothers and um, he had written a book and, you know, dedicated to nerds, sort of, I guess, I guess nerds, and he created these, these nerd herds called uh, Nerd Fighters and uh, his mission was to fight world suck. Uh, that's what they call them. That basically, nerds are filled with, you know, they're not geeky at all. They're filled with awesome. Well, I've sort of seen this before. Uh, if you go back to the 80s, there were these films, a whole series of films. Uh, if you go to Lizzie McGuire, the TV show, The Dad on Lizzie McGuire, he started off as a movie star. These sort of these, at that time, was a teen movie star or, or, or early, you know, like uh, late teens, more a college type of stuff. Called Revenge of the Nerds, and it was exactly the same thing that we saw, that you see in John Green about how how uh, you know. Uh, Nerds are for us, and nerds, you know, that we people shouldn't be discriminated against, and uh, people get hurt feelings, and it's everything we see today in the anti bullying campaigns, too. So it occurred to me that, you know, well, let's we'll see what's what else is other people will say, and I went and found more people who were ha had a video on, uh, you know, this anti bullying stuff and decided that I would set up something called Geek of the Year. And Geek of the Year is a very you know, appropriate title for something that's geek or nerd related because the last few words, uh, the last part of the Ola Year, which means basically it, it's, it's, it's the original Greek for ology. You know, so biology, geekology, right? It, the proper term is Ola Year. Which means study of the words, or you know, a reason, or you know, a thought, or thinking. Uh, so you can understand now the geek all year is the understanding of the geeks. And I did this because it's not a matter of 
I mean, people, if you go back and you keep looking at, 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 at this whole thing about not discriminating, you see how many generations it has gone past and nothing's ever ha changed, really. Uh, and they said that rather than trying to change society, maybe if you change somebody's outlook on things, uh, uh, then things will be, can begin to be different. And I know this was true for myself that, you know, once I accepted who I was, and there, there were some, some some times where you know, and I still do feel that you know, you feel a little awkward in places. But uh, uh, I, the more I accept who I am, and the thing is, it's not all bad. That's the thing. It's not all bad. It's, you know, you're never going to be always happy in life. Uh, but if you can say that you're mostly happy, then uh, you can kind of say you're ahead of the game because as I looked around, as I looked around, you know, to see how people sort of they went through life and where they ended up, where they started from, uh, I find that, I found that a lot of the cool people in school, uh, the ones who uh, were at the top of the food chain and had the status in society, when they actually entered into life didn't have the status that they thought they had. And a lot of that uh, you know, the high school was the best years in life, and, and and this is the problem I have with adults today. And these, you know, every time I sit around and talk with adults, and this is why I primarily sit and hang out with the kids. Uh, one, they don't have anything good to say about whatever they're doing. They never talk about what they're doing in any form or because they just they just they just don't. Uh, they don't they don't find work. Or what they're doing to be interesting, or something to be said, uh, and if they do, uh, other people will take offense at that, and so they don't say anything. So, you, the, the, so the conversation now, uh, when you meet with people, you can never say or be any any way in any way, shape, and form happy about what you're doing. So that limits the conversation right there. And then, more often than not, they talk about the problems in life. And that's all the discussion is. It's, it's who's sick in the hospital, who has to pay with bills, who's short on what mortgage, uh, and general stuff like that. There's never really anything, you know, that's, I don't know, nice. And then, of course, the same... Let's put it this way, and let's not be, let's not sugarcoat it. The same crap that happened in high school, happened in high school, happens in life. When you're sitting around with older people, if it's not ragging on your life, it's trying to demonstrate a status within the group. There's, there's the. It's almost instantaneous and sort of not necessarily thought about that everyone within a group has to have a specific status. And even if it's a group of 10, there's a social ranking. And if there, that social ranking didn't exist when you first got onto that table or wherever you're sitting or whoever you're hanging out with, that social ranking quickly forms. And I realized that this whole thing of cyberbullying is not, and this is what I will go back to, you really can't change the society around you without changing yourself first. And that was the point of Geek Oliya. The Geek Oliya was to say, okay, geeks, stand up, say we're here, and let's start changing ourselves. So that, not you know, in terms of making ourselves happy. We don't have to be sitting there going, oh, I'm a geek, the world likes me, blah, 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 blah. You know, there, there's no point to that. Don't, you know, first of all, no one cares that this, this is the way you feel. I mean, they do if you commit a suicide, but then after that, well, then what are you going to do after that? You know, so people feel sorry for you, you're dead. Now what are you going to do? You can't do anything once you're dead. So, given given that, 
I think the best solution, I thought the best solution at the time, uh, and this was actually even a couple weeks ago, uh, was to uh, very simply uh, set up this group. And I had contacted uh, John Green about the project for Awesome, rather than doing it annually, to say if we could do it more often than not, you know, if there's a, if there's a whole lot of, lot of nerds of us, a lot of nerds on the on the YouTube on YouTube, uh, to really make things trend, and you can see how many people were joint calling themselves nerds and joining in a project for awesome. I mean, I I've even seen in terms of the, the nerd classification, I've even seen Miley Cyrus when they come up with for robots and cyborgs, thinking that they say, oh, I think nerds are great. If everyone thought, I, you know, and, and saying how she's secretly a nerd, well, you know. Because she likes robots and stuff like that. And the thing is, this the whole thing is you you can't keep things a secret. Sometimes, sometimes things need to come out and say. You can't be you know. But I, I talked. I, I tried to email John Green about expanding Project Frost. I've been doing it more than once a year because we had this whole group of people who could do things. And it wanted it to be more than just simply, you know, checkbook charity. You know, it, yeah, it's nice to get out your checkbook and and write some, you know, write a certain amount of money and, and give it to a group who will more likely than not do nothing with it. Because if you look at most charities, uh, uh, most of the charities' uh, 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 IRS statements uh, and their financial statements, less than five percent actually goes to do anything. Uh, most uh, charities aren't actual charities that do anything. They're there simply to promote awareness. That's all they do is promote awareness. Uh, the average salary of a charity CEO ranges from 150000 to $250,000 a year. And this is, does not include expenses and, and, and perks. So, you know, it charity needs to be more than simply writing out a piece of paper that says I'm going to give you X amount of money. Charity needs to actually be getting up and doing something. And this is what I had suggested, you know, was trying to suggest to John Green when I sent him an email a couple months ago. But I didn't get a reply back. I thought maybe, hey, he might be excited about this. Let's, let's expand on this problem. So as I was flipping around the channels, looking at uh, 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 a variety of different nerd channel fighters, I mean, nerd fighter channels, I find this one girl who uh, had emailed John Green because she had uh, she had email uh, she had gone to a book signing, and he had told her about this uh, uh, website because she wanted to be a uh, a writer for uh, for for young adults and young and, and teens, uh, and he told her about this website uh, that would help out. That's a good place to start. And she had forgotten it. And she found out from a friend or someone who knew as part of the nerd fighter groups that uh, John Green doesn't reply to his emails. So, I, you know, so, so that was the end of, at this point in time, I simply put down Geek Alloy because there was other things to do. And I put it down for a bit because, you know, I, I had other things to work on uh, and it wasn't quite ready yet to really get off the ground. I really hadn't found, uh, you know, a direction for myself for the Geek of you really to move in or to motivate it. Then, as I was watching, you know, uh, Disney Channel, YouTube, uh, uh, Disney Channel, uh, Nickelodeon, uh, YTV and Teletoon and Family Channel, all those channels, they began having the cyberbullying campaigns. I watched them sing, I watched them dance, I watched the different, you know, artists come up with their different songs and uh, so on and so forth. And then uh, just uh, last week, actually, as I was going back to uh, one of the regular channels to go back to, and that's Jen Penn's channel, Uh, I clicked on, I, I, I used, I go through the, uh, ch there's the comments um, section where they people post, go check out my channel. So I, was I clicked on that, checked out 
when I, I ended up going on to a, a channel uh, that was Tasha TV. It was a pretty interesting channel, and then she had a little thing on on cyberbullying. Right, that was one of her things on there. Because I usually click down uh, the availability of the different. I don't click on one video. I click on a whole bunch of them to see what you have there. Then from there, I went to uh, her cyberbullying video. I went to uh, another channel called uh, Splash Work, Splash Photography. It was, a, it was a basically a photographic arts channel. And then they had on there. Uh, on the sidebar, I saw this one. The thing it didn't, it didn't look like a photography, but it was called R.I.P. Uh, and there was this girl on there, so I clicked on it and opened it up, and it was the suicide of the girl who had who had, who had died recently, committed suicide from bullying. Opened it up in terms of instead of saying on the on the uh, the channel page, I opened it up and saw that. Went back to uh, Jen Penn's, opened hers up on bullying and saw that. And realized that you know that a lot, and, and these this whole uh, the 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 girl that was uh, had committed suicide is in the Geek Olia playlist. I've put links to her uh, 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 to her uh, videos. So her videos in her, her RIP videos are in the Geek Olia now. Uh, and I realized that you know that here we go. Here we are. After all the singing and dancing, after all the shows, after all of, you know, uh, this nerd fighting stuff, and all of the, you know, the Project for Awesome, all of the yay, and the, and the hoopla surrounding John Green and the Vlogging Brothers, all the excitement that goes up on stage. And all of this so-called campaign for awareness of, on cyberbullying. And here we have, in the middle of this, this one kid who commits suicide. And it wasn't until after all this hoopla that a lot of this stuff started floating up. And I thought to myself, so, what progress have we made you know, in Project for Awesome? What progress have we made in stopping cyberbullying by singing and dancing and doing all this awareness campaign? None. So this is where I began on um, uh, thir I think th yeah, Thursday and Saturday, basically over the weekend. I said, and I, I and I was looking around the number of channels that call themselves nerds, and the number of people who consider themselves nerds. Right? There's a whole group in in, in uh, that, that formed a group in uh, New York on the New York region, New York State region. Uh, that have nerd fighters on. There's an entire website dedicated to nerd fighters, and there's a whole bunch of people on there, uh, you know, following John Green around. Uh, even Nerds OL has uh, uh, a nerd fighter connection. Same thing with a lot of the people that she had met in VidCon, and I had sort of gone through their channels, and they all had nerd spiels and stuff like that, and spiels about John Green and uh, the in the book that he supposedly had written. Well, not supposedly, but uh, that he wrote. Uh, and it appeared to it occurred to me that there were so many nerds on YouTube. And what was said about this girl was is that she felt as she was being bullied. She felt isolated. She felt alone. She felt no one else was going through the same thing that she was going through. And then she committed suicide. And you see this. You go back and I looked at a couple. I looked at a couple others, and one went back and looked at the paper. Looked at a couple more, and and they're all the same thing. Suicides, particularly among this group, these groups of people, the the, the teens and stuff like that. And this happens even in adults. Has to do with isolation, the feeling of isolation, and that that. Uh, and if they only knew that they weren't isolated, that's all you have to do. This is the same the thing. If they didn't feel isolated, there would be no suicide. So what's the solution then? 
Stand up and say you're a geek. And that was that's why I started promoting. Let's be a geek. Let's stand up, say you're a geek. Come to geek all the year. It it has nothing to do with uh, uh, handing out a checkbook or, or, or paying any money at all. You'll never see a hand my hand out going. Oh, please donate. This has nothing to do with that. This has to do with if we can make kids aware in all the schools, this is particularly through grade 6 to grade 11, these are the, this is the primary area where people really have a hard time, that they're not alone. If this can be in every school and every, you know, find a way to post this, find a way to get this around and say, Get it. All, and, 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 and kids can do the, 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 the use of social media. This can get around. It can be viral instantly. There's no reason why, with the number of nerds there are and geeks there are on YouTube, that this couldn't be viral. And let everybody know that there are nerds out there, geeks out there like myself, who have survived. Who have gone through what... You, these kids have gone through who have committed suicide and survived it. And, 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 and I can say from my life that compared to a lot of the cool people that I knew in school, I have a significantly better life than they do. I'm living my childhood dream. I'm who I wanted to be when I was six to eight, when I was in elementary school. I'm who I wanted to be. So if I, if I am now doing what I had imagined me and myself doing when I was sitting in front of the TV playing. That's great. You know, how many, how many people can say they have this? And if you, I talk to any adult, ask them, if, are they doing exactly what they had dreamed of when they were a kid? A majority will say no. So I can say for myself, not only is this survivable, but you can have a good life, you know, a, a, a better than average life than you know, a better than average life. So if we can only get a number of nerds to stand up and say, "Hey, I'm a nerd," and this is where the le that's what the geek list of the uh, geek of the year is about, standing up and saying, "I'm a nerd." If we can get a number of nerds to pu to to, to, uh, to uh, to do a video response to that video, I'm going to be putting videos in there, and I still have. A, I'm putting more and more videos in there. Comment on these videos. These videos that I that I post, all are open. Have open video comments. You can respond to these videos without having any moderation whatsoever. Post your responses to these videos. As I go through them, I will list them in the list. Leave your comments open on automatic. As this occurs, we can fill this list up so that, and we can get this list around in, ter in terms of a viral video. We can get the knowledge of this list around to every kid in school. So that if they're having problems, if they're feeling isolated, they can look to this group of people here, this group of nerds, and say, yes, I'm having a hard time, but there is better ahead. If we can get this done, this real charity, actually doing some work, not simply going, oh, I'm writing a checkbook, that's the end of my charity, actually doing something, right? P4A, 365 days a year, going beyond checkbook charity. If we can get these people to see this, and get them to the point where they're saying, yes, I'm having the problems I'm having, not sort of denying or hoping they're not going to have the problems, but that there's beyond this, and that other people have gone through the same thing I've gone through, then there isn't the isolation. There isn't the feeling of isolation. And if that's the cause of the suicides, then there's no more suicides. And this is what I'm saying. You know, this can be stopped. We can stop this. Every nerd on, on the internet, if you're watching this, if you ever get a chance to see this, and you can classify your nerd in any way, music, books, reading, whatever, 
get this out. Get this out so that, that other kids can see this. This is all you have to do. And we can stop the suicides. So this is what I had to say, and I still have to say it. I'm going to be uh, doing more on this during the week. Please try and get this out. This is all you have to do. I'm not asking you to write a check. I'm not asking you to do a thumbs up or a like. I'm not asking you to subscribe. You don't have to do anything like that. What I'm asking you to do is get this out so that people, the kids in the schools who may be feeling this, because you don't always know who this, who's feeling this way, just so this list is generally known, so that if someone's having a hard time, they can come here and see that there is somebody, one, I, I would be willing, willing to talk to them. Anyone who wants to compose a video, they can uh, send me an email. Everything's open there. Uh, on my channel, uh, I have uh, the, the listing to the Facebook group. So I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. Uh, I will set up other channels if it's, if it's necessary uh, so that anyone who wants to reach me in terms of, you know, these kids who are feeling like this or feeling isolated, you can reach me. I'll talk to you. Uh, I'll post more. I'm going to be posting more of my own geek experiences and geek year so that you can see other nerds like this. Uh, Big Bang Theory L is my web show. You want to see a nerd every, in everyday life uh, like Sheldon Cooper? There you go. There's a whole web show dedicated to a nerd. So, you know, let's we'll see what we can do. Let's try to get the suicides to decrease if not we can if, if we can't get it all stopped altogether so anyways I'll see you later on I still Sonia and Bethan and Zoe and Ellie and Lindsay I still have to do my uh, my Sunday version of uh, of uh, right and proper ladies I'm a little bit behind on it but due to all of this uh, to all the, the, you know this project for awesome 365 days you know p4a 365 you know stopping the suicide this is really important uh, so I, I will try to get to the uh, uh, the uh, video for Sunday anyways uh, have a good day today I will be seeing you around and if you have any comments or anything like that uh, Feel free to leave a comment, email me, whatever you want. All right, have a good day.